So some of you might be wondering how I get the Boer War monuments or how I find them. And I went through the monuments website, which isn't very well designed to be honest. It lists all the monuments in Australia. Uh, you can narrow it down to Victoria, but then you get all the monuments. Uh, but if you go for all Boer War monuments, you get all of Australia. So I had to go through anyway, manually, and hand write Boer War monuments for Victoria. The ones in green are the ones I've done. Places like Sale, I don't know when I can get over there, Bairnsdale, That's how I do it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, actually. So here we are, we're in Cheltenham. You don't mind if I chat along, do you? Uh, we're in Cheltenham, I'm with my friend Chris. I've known since, what, about 85 or something, Christina? Yep, yep, yep. So, um, if, you, if you look at the video of the jungle party, you'll see her in her um, jungle outfit and me in my, in my underwear. That's right. What happened to that other girl? Was it Louise? Louisa. Is she still around? Yeah, she's still around. She ended up a little bit lost. Right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Christine has brought me over to Cheltenham to uh, see the Boer War Monument. I can see it already because I'm quite well trained in spotting them now. And um, we've already been to Box Hill, Christine, and we went to Whitehorse Road through their, bon their Boer War monument. There was a wreath there for Anzac Day. And it also mentioned the men from Box Hill that went to the China, the Boxer Rebellion, oh, which was 1900. Yeah. Wow. You can see some um, light aircraft coming up from Moorabbin Airport. Rabin's just over there. I thought I saw the Red Baron before, like a a Red Fokker. But I could have been mistaken. Wow, this is impressive. I think it's been moved, Christina. I don't think it would have originally been here. What I found out is they normally... Because this is the first war that we went to when we were a nation. So that was probably outside... The town hall or something and they moved it here to have them all together which one is it that one, that one yeah what do you know oh. I've seen the photo. so there's quite a few names and it mentions them as Moorabbin boys yeah. how far are we from Moorabbin yeah, this is Moorabbin. Right. That's uh, Moorabbin Airport. Do you know any of those names? I don't know the names, but Rustenburg, we've been to Wilmensroost. Now, that where I live is near Sutton Grange. The boy from the Sutton Grange Hall died at Wilmensroost. We lost about 15 Victorians at Wilmensroost. I've been there. That guy, we don't know, might have died from... No reference to it where it is, though, like, but in the town. But who would know where that... Oh, here's South Africa. Yeah, yeah. Behind well, the flowers. So I returned the Major, Lieutenant Wed, Wed Jermaine Sergeant. Sergeant Fisher. Now, he's a farrier sergeant, so he looks after the horses. Horses, yeah. Uh, troopers. Two, two blacks. Yeah. Oh, two daffs, Fishers, whole family. So we'll here. just move this for the moment yeah. so we can have a look. The residents of Moorabbin, noble deeds of our Moorabbin boys whose names are inscribed here on, volunteered and fought for the Empire in the South African War. Yeah. 
brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. I'm loving this. Yeah. This beautiful marble. Might be from Malmesbury, actually. Malmesbury marble. And there's quite a lot that returned that are mentioned here. I don't know any of those names. But, yeah, I, I'd have to look it up, but I don't believe it would have originally been here. I think it's been moved here. And actually, you can see on the sides, they probably had a fountain or a drinking fountain oh, there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Super JD. Rust. Christy. So, uh, yeah, this is the Cheltenham Moorabbin Boer War Monument. It looks like something was hung from there at some stage. Yeah, yeah. Some of them used to have, like, um, lanterns on them. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that. I can see that. The irony is there's one in St Kilda for a young fella that drowned in the Boer War, oh, and they've know. given him a water fountain. That's like the Harold Holt swimming Yeah, pool. yeah. Yeah, the, the There's of many, South many Africa. names that are repeated in South Africa, though. Oh. There'd be dozens of Rustenbergs. Oh, okay. oh it's a municipality. Mahalisburg. Yeah, we went to, that's where we stayed in that place, the Kita Lodge, with all the rooms full of military stuff, me yeah, and Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Rustenburg. So these would be from the RSL. So that's the club over there, and actually, oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Actually, no, I do know about it now. Yeah, that was um, Baden Powell was in charge oh. of Rustenburg. That's interesting because yesterday. This is getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> Yesterday on Netflix, I came across, you know, the, guy, the Baden Powell guy that murdered his wife in Queensland? No. He's a relative of that. And is I he? watched that show yesterday. All right. <laughs> yeah, he murdered his wife. When? Oh, 10 years ago. Okay. And he's a relative of that Baden Powell, I'll show you. Wow. This is getting freaking weirder by the minute. But anyway, murders and people I'm connected to. Um, Baden Powell, what is her name? Murder. There she goes. Article in the Melbourne Age, dated Monday the 9th of May 1904, heading a soldier's memorial unveiled by the Premier, Australian Patriotism. Quote, the State Premier, Mr Bent, on Saturday afternoon unveiled a memorial fountain which has been erected by public subscription in honour of the men from the Moorabbin Shire who saw active service during the Boer War in South Africa. The memorial stands on the Nepean Road, Cheltenham. The base is of Malmesbury bluestone with an obelisk of red granite, highly polished, 10 feet in height. Below there is a drinking fountain. At the top are two globular lamps with incandescent burners, the total height being about 14 feet. The names of the officers, non-coms and troopers are cut on the, uh, of the stone. Those on the in memoria tablet are as follows. Troopers Christie died at Rustenburg. Clay killed in action at Elans Hook, Collins killed in action at Villemans Roost, and F. Fisher. The names of the returned soldiers headed by that of Major W. McKnight follow. There was a large attendance of residents, including many of the returned volunteers. Councillor Penny presided and formally welcomed the Premier. Mr. Bent said it gave him great pleasure to be present that afternoon to perform the ceremony of unveiling the memorial. At the time of the last South African war, it was recognised by Australians that England was in trouble, and our young, young men rose up in a patriotic manner and offered their services. Not only from that district, but from all parts of Australia, they went to South Africa and risked their lives on behalf of Queen and country. 
They were there to do honour to the four who had died and to congratulate the 35 who had come back upon having done their duty. They all remembered the scenes which took place at the time of the war. As the troops marched along the road before them, people cheered and wished them, Godspeed! At that time, all was enthusiasm and promises were made to the departing soldiers which had not been kept. He was sorry that the pledges made by the previous government had not been carried out and he would make it his duty to see that they were redeemed to the fullest extent. It was all very well for the Lieutenant Governor, Sir John Madden, to speak of the glory of the men who'd gone to the war and to point to the great work they had done, but he, Mr Bent, would repeat in the presence of ex-ministers and in the presence of the people of Victoria that if he remained in office, he'll remain all right, a voice in the crowd. Nothing would be wanting on his part to see that justice was done to these men and that the employment which was promised to them on their return from the war was given. He noticed that a sermon was preached the other day by one of our clergymen and the lesson it taught was that we ought not to go to war in the future. He was inclined to think that if we took such a position as that, we should soon have the Japanese marching down upon us. We did not want to fight, but if we were forced to do so, we were quite ready to protect our interests. And he believed that in similar circumstances, Australians would again volunteer. The gathering that day showed that although some of the lustre had worn off our achievements, and he believed that the memorial would be a splendid object lesson to the state school children of the Moorabbin Shire, many of whom he saw around him. Woohoo! The Premier then removed the Union Jack which surrounded the memorial and the people sang the national anthem and cheered. Major McKnight said he hoped the men who had returned from South Africa would get fair play and that the promise given to them would be fulfilled. Colonel Otter and Colonel Kelly also spoke and the adjournment was then made to the hall. Ellis and Baden, oh, Baden Clay. Oh, no, it was Baden Clay. No, but they were, no, no, but they were, he's related to Baden Powell. Right. He's, he's, her husband was related to Baden Powell. Okay. And he's wow. in jail now because he killed her, uh, Jared Baden Clay. Right. All right. Well, that's another one we can tick off. I think, um, I've done about 50 of them now in Victoria. How many do you reckon there are? There's another, about another 20 I'd say. And some of them like, they're in Ben style. I'm not gonna get over to Ben style, <laughs> I Look, don't think. Um, the 45 real estate agent descendant of Boy Scout founder Lord Baden Powell. Wow. wow. Okay. Well that's good information, Cherry. Yeah, Christina knows it all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that, like, that's just having a oh, drink What's this for? Oh. There might be some boers here. Oh, wow, look at that. And these are the local men that went and served. And there's a timeline of... their stories. There's a timeline of the oh, war. that's beautiful. That's fantastic, isn't it? That's really beautiful. These are local men and women, and they've been able to put their... Photos here. Like it. Do we have any World War ones? No, they all look World War Two. That's why. That's why it has, and they're all from the Pacific. They're Japanese. It's all yeah. Brilliant, eh? But what a what a lovely. Yeah. Someone's gone to a lot of trouble to make this. Yeah. Wow. Well. Look at this. Look at Stanley Pale. Yeah. A beautiful young man. So you remember Hubbard? Yep. He uh, flew in those uh, flying boats, Catalinas. Oh. Now they were stationed at Lake Boga. 